Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, we're going to be testing another laptop here in the channel. This one is a Sony Vio... I just, I can't remember the names of the laptops. But it features a GeForce 410M GPU, so it was pretty low-end 10 years ago when it released. And it also has an i3-2330M, it's a 2.2 gigahertz uh, dual-core chip with four threads, of course. I upgraded the RAM from 4 gigabytes to 12 gigabytes, it's running a dual-channel DDR3-1333 uh, megahertz. And uh, I also upgraded the hard drive, I swapped it for an SSD so I could use it in the video today while not pulling my hairs out <laughs> and we're still utilizing a hard drive with all of the games that we're testing here today now this laptop belonged to my brother he actually used it up until 2018 i believe and yeah it's still in pretty good shape i think the battery on it is kind of dead at this point but that's completely normal for old laptops good condition i just swapped the thermal paste on the gpu and cpu and we're ready to see what it can do in 2021 so let's put it to the test shall we as you can see here this is the one gigabyte model of the geforce 410m there's also the 512 megabyte model of this card so fortunately we have the better version for once and uh, let's get into the first game okay first up we got gta 5 in directx 10 at 800 by 600 resolution using the lowest settings no shadows by the way i disabled those in the config files and advanced settings are all turned off this is a game that my brother used to play in this laptop with four gigabytes of ram as well um as you can see that that's not a good idea and i actually have an old video testing this laptop it's from a few years ago i recorded it with a camera instead of like a capture card like i do nowadays so quality is pretty poor in that video but yeah it showed you the experience with four gigabytes of ram and it was horrible it was a stuttery mess basically so don't play this game if you have <gasps> it's a white car that's a beautiful white car guys we found it again i am so happy right now uh, but yeah don't play this game with four gigabytes of ram it's not enough but if you upgrade it to eight or twelve well it's actually possible to have a pretty decent experience. As you can see, the CPU is actually bottlenecking our GPU at times here at 800 by 600. Oh boy! Okay, 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 okay. So this is actually a little bit better than what I was expecting. The components, the CPU and GPU. Sorry, buddy. You just, you didn't move, you know? That's, that's what you get. Both the GPU and CPU are most of the time at like 90% usage. So it's very, very nice. Uh, temperatures are absolutely fine. As I told you, I repasted the whole thing and I cleaned it up. And wow. It's, it's actually playable. GTA 5 is actually playable. I, it's unbelievable. <laughs> okay, most intensive air. It's already dropping into the 20s, but not too much. I'm sorry, Rick. I think I killed you. Um, Jack. Oh, Jack is here as always. How's it going, buddy? Very nice. Oh, how am I feeling? I'm feeling great. Thanks for asking. I, I'm actually very impressed. Of course, it will drop if you get into bushes and stuff, but it's not a bad experience. I think it's it's playable. Time for Valorant. Very easy to run and a recent title. We're playing it at the 768p resolution, which is uh, the laptop's native res at the low settings. All right, let's start counting our FPS. The averages are probably going to go well are probably going to be decent that's what i meant uh, <laughs> but the one percent lows are going to be horrible because it's it's there's so much variation here you can see the frame time graph is very inconsistent there ah doesn't feel good at all yeah this is definitely not a competitive valorant experience it's really hard to play like this okay yeah, you can still have fun, I guess, but don't expect to, to play this game in the competitive modes because your team is just gonna hate you forever. <laughs> Why did you spawn in front of me? Okay, double kill! Nice! Got him! I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. The CPU is bottlenecking our GPU, by the way. Yeah. That was really messy. Eh, 
Okay, thank god for the large head hitboxes in this game. <laughs> oh, what the? Come on. Oh my gosh, how did I do that? Okay, how did he not kill me? That's that's the question. Gosh. Kills remaining. Oh, what the hell? Everywhere. 21-21. That's, that's, that's okay, right? Considering the circumstances. It's okay. Ah. Oh. And we're now playing Minecraft Java Edition at the uh, 1366 by 768 resolution using these settings, like low settings, I guess. Oh boy, okay, so this is really bad. Uh, CPU utilization is through the roof right now. It's not good. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a B. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it seems like it's stabilizing right now, the FPS and CPU usage, it's okay, it's playable, I guess, at least up here. Let's start counting our frames and go down there. This is my building, by the way, that I, I, uh, I made, yeah, I made this, that's beautiful. Yeah, six chunks looks like crap here, guys, Ugh, I, I don't like it, I don't like it one bit, and we're getting 30s. CPU is really struggling. I think you should either try some FPS mods in this one uh, to increase the FPS, of course, or maybe play the Bedrock version because that will actually run pretty well. It ran really well with the GeForce 310M. I tried to install Sodium, but I had a few problems, by the way, so that's why we're not testing that. But, oh my goodness, this is so bad. What the hell? I did not think that Minecraft would be the most intensive game tested today, but okay then. Yeah, this is not good, guys. We're playing Dota 2 at 800 by 600 resolution using the DirectX 9 API and the lowest settings with 100% render scaling. Let's unlock the FPS and let's do this. Actually, we're just gonna watch a game here. I, 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 I want to wait a little bit because I think the, this system can get better FPS than these. So, yeah, maybe it was still loading. Everything is fine now. It's kind of, no, not really smooth, but... All right, let's start counting our frames now. See a little bit of a team fight at level 3 and 2. <laughs> okay. All right, one dead. Bristleback still managed to get that one. Okay. <laughs> You know what, at this point, I'm not sure if this second Gen i3 is better than the uh, first Gen i5 that we tested on the GeForce 310M laptop, because, I mean, I think the other laptop got more FPS here in Dota 2. And as you can see, the CPU is also bottlenecking the card in this game at 800 by 600. That's pretty bad. Oh, we got Storm Spirit here. That's nice because his spells usually lower your FPS, uh, especially here in these low-end GPUs. If you're wondering, League of Legends is a lot less intensive than this, so it will run perfectly if Dota 2 is running like this. Um, yeah, some effects in the screen drop your FPS, but it's nothing major. At least so far it hasn't been. Okay, nice. Oh, the poor, the poor guys here in the Radiant bottom. <laughs> Slark and Dazzle are just getting wrecked. Okay. All right, they got him. A little bit of a fight. And again, FPS dropping into the 40s. It's not bad. I could play like this, to be honest. Of course, I'd prefer 60 plus FPS all of the time, but... You know, even if it drops from 30 here and there in more intensive fights, I think it's okay. Okay, we're playing CSGO now at 800 by 600 resolution using these settings. These are the lowest settings in the game. Please don't give me 19 frames per second game. Come on, you can do better than that. Oh, thank you. What the hell? These are really low FPS. I remember playing this game. Oh, jeez, this is so bad. Look at this. What the hell? Just by looking at there, the GPU gets maxed out and we're getting like 20 something. Oh, this is awful. Remember those days when I played CSGO well, guys? Uh, th those are gone with this uh, GPU or this PC. Okay, at least we can kill bots still. <laughs> but, oh, jeez, that's massive stutter right there. That's 
that's so awful. CPU utilization, the CPU sometimes bottlenecks the GPU, as you can see there. Wow, I was not expecting these results. I remember playing this game with this exact same PC. And I used to get like 50 to 80 FPS at 720p back in the day, like maybe in 2013, 2014. And now it runs like this at 800 by 600. So what the hell? I can't, I can't play like this. This is awful. And okay, I, I, I got him. I got him. Oh, there's one. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm, I'm doing this, guys. I'm doing this. Still playable? No, it's not. I just, this is a, an awful experience for CSGO. Like, I never imagined that they screwed the game up so badly. And it runs like this now on a PC where this game was playable at 720p with about 50 FPS at all times. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy, my, my ping is just so awesome. Also, I did disable 3D sound under the uh, sound options uh, because that usually occupies one full thread on our CPU. So we don't want to do that here, of course. And let's play some Rust at 720 by 480, 480p resolution, using the lowest settings possible, of course. Like, yeah, it's it's still pretty bad, as you can see, but somewhat playable. You know, uh, you can run around and build bases, you just can't really shoot people that well. Well, at least it... Oh, God. At least it doesn't stutter, and then we got a massive stutter. So th this isn't even a very intensive area as well. CPU utilization is at 100% as usual in recent tight, somewhat recent titles. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's not an enjoyable experience. Oh God, <laughs> that took a while to load. To be honest, I thought it would be better because this game used to run better as well. Oh my gosh, oh my God, <laughs> no, no, this is bad. Oh no, oh no, oh boy, oh boy, no, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, we're, we're approaching an intensive area now. There's a big fight going on in that direction, but we don't care. We just want to see these horrible looking trees. Yeah, amazing. This is now Far Cry 3. We're playing it using the 800 by 600 resolution, DirectX 9 API, and the low settings. So this is another game that my brother used to play in this laptop at these exact same settings and uh, well at least it's playable right? Especially considering that uh, Far Cry 3 was a AAA title when it released in 2012, this was a low-end laptop in 2011, so well you can't really expect much. It's a good thing that it actually runs the game. Yeah 1% lows are not very nice are they? <laughs> this is a game that also doesn't really need a lot of RAM or VRAM. We're not maxing out either of those. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a good game to play on low-end systems. Oh my god, oh my god! Well, they're fighting all the way here. Oh, they're fighting against Jack. Jack is here to save us. Look at him. Let's go, Jack. Kill them all, buddy. We got this. Just gonna kill this guy. And Jack got the other one, I guess. No, Jack, where are you? J Jack, come on, don't stay there. What the heck? Jack, my boy, give me a hug. Oh, yes. Yes. Hugs. Hugs for days. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, here we go. That should do it. There it is. Huge explosion, it only dropped to 29. All right, guys, it's time for one of my favorites. My brother also used to play this in this PC, and I, I'm not really sure how. Uh, but we're playing at 440p using low settings. Pretty bad. Surprisingly, the CPU utilization is all right for a 64-player server, but the 410M just can't handle this game properly, can it, guys? Whew, 
Well, it's to be expected, I guess. Battlefield 3 was a AAA title and a very good looking one, kind of next gen back in 2011. Uh, and, well, the 410M, again, is, it's, it's, it was pretty bad. Okay. Oh, this is just my internet, guys, by the way. By the way, I had so much fun playing this game the other day on the GTX 690. It was beautiful, my friend. Go check out that video if you haven't already. And that, on the contrary, was pretty much one of the best experiences that you could could have in Battlefield 3 uh, back in 2012. So, yeah, I can't do anything. I'm having like 300,000 ping. I mean, sometimes it gets 30, so it could be worse. And now we're moving to the best part of Dam Event Pick right now. And I, I just smiled so much watching this in the Battlefield 2042 trailer, guys. It, it is awesome. Oh, there's a guy. Uh -oh. No. <laughs> I could have got him. Okay, I got him. Nice. We got a kill with a 410M. So you can play like this. Oh, God. Was it the admin? Yeah. Well, 32 FPS on average. And it's Call of Duty time. But, of course, unfortunately, Warzone doesn't really work on this laptop. But we're playing Black Ops 2. Very nice game as well. And we're running it at 720p resolution using the lowest settings. All right. This is not bad. This is actually really decent, okay? So if you wanted 60 plus FPS at all times, uh, you, you could play this game at 720p. I mean, 800 by 600. Okay, got it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's fine, guys. Oh, this is, this is absolutely playable. Oh, I remember it so well. When you zoom in, aim down sides. <laughs> I oh my god. But yeah, when you aim down sights, your FPS drop by a lot because of the depth of field in this game. So maybe use some laser sights and stuff so you don't have to do that and lose frames. Okay, we're doing this, guys. This is actually pretty decent. Okay, there's another one there. All right, all right. No, 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 my goodness, Jesus, no, 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 do I have, I don't have grenades, okay, wait, oh my gosh, the dead body there, where is he, where's the guy, there he is, that's another one of them, I don't know, no, no bullets, uh, I still got the Hellfire missile or whatever it is, ooh, Ooh. Okay, I got one of them. And the FPS went to crap. Okay, so it's done. I think we did pretty well. Left 4 Dead 2, another banger of a game here. We're playing at 768p resolution using the low settings. Now this is a game to play with a GeForce 410M. It runs really well, guys. Of course, it's low settings, but I, I'd have so much fun playing like this. I played this game a lot with 25 FPS with a worse PC than this one. Let's do this. I got a guitar here. It's gonna... Bam! I got him with a guitar. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. God damn it. All right. We're fine. The horror is coming. All right. Fire effects are usually intensive as well. Look at that. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I like it, I like it. I could definitely play like this, guys. Oh, god damn it! I keep, like, trying to, to recoil control this. Oh, boy! No! I expected more zombies, to be honest, but... Okay. Yeah, it's playable, guys. Thank you, Scobbing! It's fine. This is normal difficulty, so everything is fine. I'm a pro Left 4 Dead player. Oh, FPS are dropping so much. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what happened here. <laughs> this is Overwatch right now. We're playing at 720p using the lowest settings here and 103 FOV. Uh, it's, it could be worse, I guess, but I I'd still I don't recommend anybody to play like this, obviously. Oh, stop stuttering and stuff. Oh boy, that's really bad. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. Uh. I just, I'll, I'll, I'm trying to, I'm trying here, guys. No, no, no. Shoot, 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 shoot. You got. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. Okay. 
I should try and kill the para, right? Oh boy. Nope. Ugh. God damn it, man. I can't do anything. It stutters way too much or frame skips or whatever. It's it's bad, guys. CPU usage at 100% as well as GPU usage around that, but CPU is definitely the uh, slower component for this game, I think. Almost getting the Roadhog. No, wait. He, he, he can heal himself, right? I forgot. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got this as well. All right. Oh, this I, I have no clue how I'm actually playing this game well. Uh, all right. I'm on fire, apparently. <laughs> what did I do to be on fire? Okay. Let's play Team Fortress 2 at the 768p resolution using these settings. CPU is bottlenecking our GPU here in this game, guys. Well, that's quite a shame, but at least we're getting around 60 frames. Not too bad. Can we get 60 plus? Probably not, right? What is happening here? What the hell? Okay, yeah, there we go. It's dropping from 60 because of the smoke effects right there. Ah, I don't like this. This CPU kind of sucks a little bit, you know? i3 second gen from a laptop. Yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? I was really not expecting this kind of performance in Team Fortress 2. Like, it is playable. Don't get me wrong. You can't play the game like this, but... It stutters sometimes, 1% lows reflect that, as you can see. Uh, by the way, these aren't stutters, it's just my beautiful, awesome internet that I love so much. Okay, there we go. Jesus, dropping so close to 30 there. Oh, it's very underwhelming. I was expecting great things in this game. And for the final game, we got Fortnite, and it's actually 1am, so I gotta be a little bit quieter here. We're playing at 720p resolution using these settings. Oh, this... Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, this is so bad. Of course, Fortnite stutters in pretty much everything. It also stutters in my Ryzen 9 5900X with my 5700X T and 32 gigabytes of RAM installed on an NVMe SSD. Yeah, this game's broken. Yeah, we can't really expect much from 10-year-old laptop hardware, low-end as well. Yeah, it's just, it sucks in playing uh, this game, as you can see, guys. Ugh, pretty rough. It's getting 30. Oh, God, it's so bad. The lag, uh, the stutters. GPU usage is sometimes maxed out, but the CPU is a slight bottleneck still. So I'm actually going to try and lower the render scale. Let's try out like 50%, which is 360p. Still pretty much the same thing, but now instead of being GPU limited all of the time, we are CPU limited. But, well, the 30s, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's it might be a little bit better. Still stutters though, but you know what? I expected it to be worse. It will probably start stuttering like hell in like Lazy Lake, for example. By the way, bushes are your worst nightmare usually when you are GPU bound, but we're not here. Uh, Oh, okay. All right, I got him. I got him. Stutters there, but oh my gosh, it's so bad. Look at that. Uh, th th these are bots, definitely. Someone that doesn't know any better playing Fortnite might actually call these a playable experience. You know, it's not it's not the worst thing, definitely. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, th there we go. There, yeah, I'm playing the game, right? Oh boy. Okay. FPS dropping from 30, you can instantly tell, even if it goes like 29, 28. Well, I guess it's still somewhat better than CSGO, for example, when it stops stuttering, you know, so go for it. It's conclusion time, and do I recommend a GeForce 410M laptop in 2021? Definitely not, guys. I mean... You can have fun in a few games, but the CPU is actually the worst part of this laptop, in my opinion. I totally expected better coming from it. If you can buy it for like 50 bucks, I guess it's worth it because it still browses the web pretty well and you can still do like some PowerPoint presentations, Word documents and stuff like that. But for gaming, yeah avoid this one so thank you very much for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next one very soon as always love you all Bye bye